Hello, it's Malcolm with Torch Chief from Malcolm 3D, and today we're going to be creating, over the next 10 days, we're going to be creating a animated short film for a local film festival called Lights, Camera, Action. I think everything's working, but anyway. So first, jeez, oh sorry. First up, first thing is, let's work out our folder structure quickly. Um, I've already written the script and kind of added in the 10 items that actually go in. Um, so we're going to go scenes... Next thing we need is characters. Now it's been a while since I actually have created an animated short film. Let's go assets, dun, 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 um, new, let's go location. And while we're at it, let's go in mocap because we need motion capture just in case we go down that route. Um, let me click on that button there. That helps me a little bit. So we've got these. I've already got the script written up just in Word. Um, I've got seven minutes. I can make it as long as seven minutes, but I'm not going to be using seven minutes because I'm making an animated short film. So I'm only going to go for maybe three or four, depending on what I'm going to do. Um, so let's just start writing a few things like down. Actually, let me just quickly save this into D drive. And so we're just kind of starting the process of um, shot list of what we need to do to actually just start making the short film. So, um, locations, I know we need planet surface, we need outer space, we need cockpit, we need cockpit what's the other thing that we need kind of like um i think i might make the cockpit all kind of like one room so it's not going to be that big hello and welcome um so there's varying things kind of like where he goes to activate the robot oh gosh i gotta model the robot oh dang it okay um we got plants so i'll probably just use the cheap tree generator for them um i just got one single plant that i need to make that i need to match as much as semi possible <sighs> scenes let's have a look drone hold same as the cockpit it's kind of like all containing the one little area um planet surface outer space because we got it when the ship comes um air hold air hold uh airlock let's airlock and airlock airlock delightful says the batman all right you know what let's just start off with the easiest thing here. I'm going to open up character creator. Let's be add an upgrade. Let's get our characters actually going. So I only need one character. And then what I'm going to do is actually going to try and model out um, a robot. Now the way I was envisioning it was uh, some sort of sphere that kind of hovers in the air. Um, it's going to have two arms and that's about it. That's all it needs. I mean, I could even go with one arm just hanging off the bottom of it. Let's go one arm. Let's animate. <laughs> I will do that. That's what I'm going with. Um, and then the the this ball robot ball is just going to kind of just float float in space. What is the minimum length of the movie? There is no minimum length. However, I've got ten items I need to incorporate. So let's go full body. I want. Let's go this chap. Put that in. All right, buddy. Yeah, let's get rid of the bra on you, buddy. Um, okay, full body. Let's go body size. Blah. He doesn't need to be full proper hardcore toned. No, that's actually not too bad. I'm actually fairly happy with that. He's not He's not beef. beef. He's not buff, but he's not... He's semi-buff, but he does have a little bit of gut. Beautiful. Let's just throw some clothes on now. A shirt. What kind of shirt? It's going to be kind of like an outer space type thing. Um, I do like the idea of a plain shirt. Nope, not that shirt. What's this one look like? And the reason why I'm using this is that is disgusting. Not that shirt. I want a plain shirt. Let's come into here. This one. Replace, please. Let me just turn that audio down. I think it's that one there cool beans 
that shirt I'm fine with, pants, let's throw in the biker jeans. Um, we will come out and we'll fix this a little bit later. I don't like the fact that that belt's there. That's not too bad. Let's throw some shoes on him. Let's go boots, the boots. Beautiful, I'm fairly happy with that. We've got a little bit of an issue there, but what we'll do, oh no, I can't delete faces. Hello, is beggar's, is beggar's gun. Welcome. So now I'm just gonna quickly clean up this mesh. Oh, how do I do this again? Okay, come into here. It's not edit pose, edit mesh. I'm trying to remember how to do this now. What's, what did I have selected? Do I have anything selected? Come over here, buddy. Faces. I'm just trying to remember how to, ah, oh, cause I got shoes selected is the last thing I got selected. So let's go back into selection. Yeah, no, 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 no. We need to change this to scene. Let's go shirt, shirt, long sleeve. And so what I'm just going to do is quickly just pull this out. And so, yeah, we're just creating the character at the moment. Come on. There we go. Let's just move that bit out. I'm not too concerned. I'm not going to see his back much. There was a face out here. Let's move that out. Lovely jubblies. Let's just go with that. Let's go file save project. We will save this to where all my other files are going to be. So D drive, mark on 3D, LCA 2020 character. This one is going to be Ryan underscore uh, real because it's in real illusion. Oh, then I'm going to, let's give him some hair. Why not? Do we, well, actually, if I find any decent hair, let's come into here. How are you doing? Not too bad. I think this is going to be a long, do I want that hair? Actually, I prefer him bald. <laughs> let's just go bald. <laughs> One less thing to worry about. Okay, let's go file, 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 export. FBX fully clothed. I want to go into Blender. I just want the mesh. This is all fine. Delete hidden faces. Yes, please. Escape. Oakley Doakley. Let's now save this into our project folder. LCA and this one will be Ryan underscore main save excellent control s save that let's now jump into blender and now let's just rig him up real quick delete file import fbx I've already forgotten I keep forgetting d drive markham 3d LCA 2020 characters Ryan main. So if we import that in now, I do have a video on how to rig a pre-existing character coming out next weekish. I just got to make the icons. What is going on? There we go. So let's grab everything. Control a, and let's apply that scale. What are you doing blender? Oh gosh. Anyway, so let's come into the front here. I'm going to select everything again, deselect the current rig. Let's select this one. Let's come into press N and I'm just going to open up auto rig pro. Um, generate. I do have only meshes selected. What do I have that shouldn't be selected? Underwear bottom. I, I don't want that. There we go. Now let's try again. Generate. Um, just quickly turn on the armature. Have the armature selected. I want to just viewport display in front so I can actually see. Let's go add a neck. Let's come up a bit. That is in the right spot. Add a chin. Chinny ching chin. Add shoulders. I'm going to place that over the current shoulder. Add a wrist. And so you can do this with Rigify as well. Um, this same process. It just makes life a little bit easier. Add ankles. I think ankles are about there. Let's just do that. I'm going to press go. How 
how's everyone doing this fine evening as well we will probably go till midnight which is two and a half hours away but who knows I will probably go on for longer so I'm just quickly placing everything that we need in the right spots just following there we go like so and now if I press tab to come out I go match to rig and now this is going to generate all like the um, the controls that go around it like so beautiful everything seems to be pointing nicely I'm just gonna press G let's just check cool beans that looks nice from here I'm gonna select everything and then we'll go whoops go into object mode select the rig last let's come into skin let's go file save as before I do this bit uh, characters Ah, dang it, should have done. Uh, this would be Ryan underscore main underscore blender. Save as. Okay, now go bind. And hopefully this doesn't take too long. Hello, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. Keep you up my content. <laughs> I've said that a few times. <laughs> um... For those of you who just joined us as well, we're making an animated short film. I've literally now just started. Um, we've already got our script up and running and I'm just kind of um, extracting all those little bits of information. So once we've created this character, I'll probably go into um, probably creating an environment. What I might do is actually just go through some old blend files and see what I can pull out. because I know I've got one that I used for my very first short film and I could probably redo. I do need to make a spaceship, but I might actually go back and oh, use that one. That one seems pretty popular for people. So I'm just gonna wait for, for this to finish up. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer. Um, but there's a transport ship that's available on Gumroad for free that I really like. I think I might use that one. Hello from Colombia. Hello from Australia. Well, well, well. What's the time over there? What are we? You guys are in front of us. Must be early morning. Hey, Rocky. How you doing, mate? Welcome. Come on, Blender. You can do this. That's cool. We got a, we got a multitude of people here. That's brilliant. Where are you from, Rocky? And AA. <laughs> Where are you from, buddy? Um. What else we got? So we got 10 items. Are you going to use the facial face cap? Yes, I will be. Um, I'm waiting for this to finish, but do I still have, I still have it open. What I'll do is I'll give you a quick preview. So I'm going to open up 5.30 AM, buddy. Get some rest, but no, please stay. <laughs> UK, wow. Almost all around the world. So I'm just going to let, Still waiting for Blender to do its thing. This is very intensive. From France. Oh my goodness. The French. Is iClone opening up? It sure is. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you motion capture as well. Look at that. Um, I'm just going to open up my live face. There we go. Come on, iClone. Where are we? Still waiting for iClone. So Blender's really hammering the CPU let's have a look performance wise come on blender it's not working that hard India jeez jeez and whiskers everywhere I'm semi tempted to stop this but I don't want it I'll give it another two minutes and then we'll try again iClone is up so let's close that what I'm going to do is send this character over to iClone just to show you what it looks like send character to iClone Blink and it should be an icon there it is it's coming over but yeah i'll be definitely using facial motion captures to speed up the process a little bit let me just zoom in on this chap there we go buddy what are the specs of my pc i have a ryzen 3900 however my graphics card's a little bit old sitting at uh, gdx 980. All right, so from here, what we gotta do is I gotta connect my iPhone, which is just off camera. Um, 192.168.0.7. Let 
let's turn that on you are now connected let me click on live face you little ripper press the space board key aha so yes we will be using facial motion capture let's set zero pose there we go mm, spicy yeah so this character is from the iClone suite, the Reillusion suite. You suck. All right, let's start Blender off again. It's a good thing we saved. It's always important. <laughs> um, Ryan main Blender. Everything is selected. <sighs> let's try again. Come on, Blender. Don't fail me. Okay, there it goes again. All right, let's have a look. So, yes, so I'll be using this. I'll be definitely be exporting it. Um, I can't, oh yeah, I can't share my phone up the top because I can't do that. What camera are you using for capture? I'm using an iPhone 10 or XS. I've got big hands, so I've got a big phone. Um, but that's what it is. It's using the, um, jeez, that is good. That's, mm, oh. Hey, ma. Mm. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, Blender, have you done it? No, you haven't. Oh, stop crashing on me. It's pretty close. But anyway, I like it. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Gecko. Welcome. <laughs> oh, all right. all right you know what we will skip this then i'm not going to worry about that let me just turn off reillusion now so that was just what i was going to use let's now start thinking about creating our scene um would you like to save no i do not want to save blender get out close program there we go. Let's come back into here and let's just start um, laying it out. So I'm going to start off always by deleting that default cube, save as. Let's come into location and this will be int underscore cockpit. And let's see what we can pillage from old projects. So if I go into D drive, my OneDrive into the public, all right, so these are all available on... Does it do eye tracking and blinking? Yes, it did do that. Um, uh, I'll bring it up a little bit later. Um, so now let's go through and find some old projects. Okay. And what I'm going to do, especially I'm just going to pull out the seat. What else can I pull out? I don't know. Let's pull out. Oh, I forgot about this ship. Okay. This is the question. Do I go with this ship or do I go with do I go with this ship? Let's do it. We'll do a quick vote. I'll bring that one here. This one on this side and which ship should I be using? This one is a lot bigger. Actually, it probably will be this one. Um, because we've got a big cargo hold. Come on, Blender, why aren't you spinning around? We've got a big cargo exit here. And this is meant to be the cockpit in here. What's the story? The story is pretty much um, the main character goes around to different planets, terraforming planets ready for colonization. That's it. And then the end. <laughs> I I think so, the bigger one as well. So that's most of our work done. So let's let's cheat. So we've got our ship file. Save as. I'm going to put that in our location. Let's put this under assets. And we'll call this sci-fi freighter. We'll call this freighter ship external. Uh, yes, there is a, there is a um, climax. However, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Oh, gee, sorry. I'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, 
let's work on this thing. Extreme PBR combo. I'm going to be super lazy. And let's just start adding stuff. Um, let me just show you what this ship actually looks like currently. Um, let's go into, oops, actually, let me bring those lights back. And so this is what the ship at the moment looks like. It looks quite nice. So that is there is going to be the cockpit. Um, we might actually come in and put some more greebles over the top. But we've got our engines. That's nice. I think um, something I need to create is some landing gears. Yeah, I'm going to use this. This is the one. So now let's quickly, I'm just going to go back into solid view. Let's go delete, delete, get rid of those top and bottom planes because we don't need them. Let's get rid of that camera and let's just make sure I've got no keyframes set on anything. Yes, I've got keyframes. Let's delete those keyframes. How long did it take you to create that ship? Three hours. I think what it was, there's a video a while back that I did. So you can actually download this model from Gumroad. I think if you watched the last video I did, there's a link in the description for that. Okay, so let's start throwing on some materials. So I'm just going to go into solid mode. Um, at the moment, this is extreme PBR combo. And I'm just going to throw on some simple materials. Dun, 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 dun. And what I'll do is, why is this a bit weird? All right, so it's a bit weird because this is a 2.79 file. I'm using hard surface add-on for this ship. I'm not, um, I just created this. I know I really should be using more of hard ops, um, but I don't. Hard ops is amazing. File, let's go append because I wanna bring across all those files and save it into my project here. Um, let's grab everything and append. Cool, delete, 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 and delete. What's going on here? I've got kind of some sort of duplicate mesh business, G. G, nope, G, G. Okay, does that have a solidify modifier? It doesn't. Does this have a solidify? Oh, that's a bit weird. So I'm just going to tab into edit mode. Let's select this. Oh, maybe let's just hide that. There we go. So that's what it's meant to look like. Wow. How did you make this with the edges without the mode? I'm using hard ops, but boy, this is, hang on, which edges? So if you want like, um, you got like a curved surface. So for instance, this ish, um, a, I've put in bevels. But the other thing you normally do is come into object data, go normals and turn on auto smooth. There's a video on that one. All right, cool. So now this is in Blender uh, 2.8 file, which is exactly what we want. Let's save over that one. Let's delete this one because I don't need that one anymore. Alt H, any files? Nope. Hide, there we go. Okay, so from here, what am I doing? Creating materials. So let's start here and then we'll just throw on some materials, extreme PBR combo. Let's add in some metal right here. Okay. What's happened? Why is this a bit weird? Ah, add new. No. Something has changed and I am not thrilled one little bit. What's happened? What has happened? No, did the latest Blender stuff me up. Hey, Brian, how you doing, Matt? Sounds like a cool project. Thank you. Um, see, this is what it's meant to look like. File, append, I don't know what's going on. Assets, let's just do this again. Object. Select everything, append. There we go, that's better. File, save as. Weird. H, there we go. All right, now we can do stuff. Metal, there we go. And I'm just gonna use this. 
um, map kit, I want all these three, three things. I'm going to replace all those materials. And so this is what we got. Now, the other thing I got to do is select everything and let's go U smart UV project. There we go. Look at that lovely jubblies. Marco is angry. Marco, yes, Marco is angry. Um, we've got this problem here, but that's because the UVs are mirrored at the moment. I'm not too concerned about that for now. I've got a cube. Let's delete that default cube because we don't need that default cube because nobody likes the default cube. Let's select this U smart UV project. So I'm just going to quickly do all this. Select this. Let's just UV unwrap real quick. Oh, spicy. And then what we'll do is we will use, um, what's that program called? Oh yeah, let's just select everything. Silly Marco. Select everything. You smart UV project. Done. Save Blender file. You cannot override used library. What? Shut it. Close this one. Don't save. File. Save as. And we will put in underscore A. These are all local. Beautiful. Ah, looking good so far. Just a quick question. How long this stream is live? I need to leave. It'll be probably another two hours, 10 minutes, and then I'll be streaming pretty much every night for the next week and a bit. Um, looks very sexy though. It does look very sexy. Wow. So down here, this bit here is going to be my cockpit. So I'm just going to quickly just do a few things. Um, let's check these pipes. Let's go select these pipes. And let's start adding some more materials in. Control L, is that? That's everything. That's fine. I want that. I want that. I want that. Control L. Let's select these. Control L. And so I'm just kind of grab some pipes. Grab this bit in here. I don't want this to be a metal. I mean, I can change a metal color pipes. What do we got? No. I want a rubber is what I want. I want some sort of black rubber, but I don't see anything. So let's just quickly make a new material. Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. New material, let's go um, rubber. He, there probably is one in the pack, but I just want to start moving forward a little bit. Let's click assign. So we've got that black material happening. Uh, base color, so sort of specularity goes down on rubber, roughness goes up. I think that's about it. Oops, let's come into here. And I will grab this section. Actually, let's grab this. And then I'm going to go control numpad plus and expand that there. And we will assign that as metal. Control numpad plus, assign that as metal. Mm, and that's about it. Oh, let's select that one. Control numpad plus. There we go. So already we were kind of starting to get that contrast. Yes, the fires are pretty much gone. We've had we've had actually floodwaters come through now. Oh, Australia. Let's expand that all. And I want a secondary metal maybe like um some sort of dull copper there we go let's add that assign yeah nice look at the, oh that's gorgeous select these two control numpad plus to expand the selection that looks nice uh, i'm going to grab these let's grab this and is that a pipe that goes nowhere Sure. Oh, no, it's like an exhaust port. Now let's grab that as well and assign that. There we go. So we're just kind of giving it a little bit of different colors. Um, let's grab these pipes as well. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Ooh, not that one. That one and that one. Control numpad plus. I hate you. Let's expand that selection and we go to... Nope, 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 nope. Hang on. We gotta select everything. And so yeah, we're just which region do I live? 
Uh, Canberra. Canberra. Nope, nope, nope. What are you doing? Sorry. Assign. Let's select this. 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 And this. Control plus numpad. There we go. There we go. Well, now we're just starting to get a little bit of definition coming through. Let's maybe select this plate here. Select this plate in here. Um, we'll give it another different type of metal. Let's go metal two. What do we got in here? Maybe that one. Maybe that one there. Add. Battered metal. Let's go assign. Did it do much? Yeah, not really. Seems like the same as this one. Because they are, I think, the same. What do we got? I'm in SA. Hey, buddy, welcome. Um, you guys have a blender meetup coming up soon. I think from reading the Adelaide one. So I'm originally from Adelaide. From Northside, from Parallel Alley. Here you go. <laughs> um, let's click assign on that. And let's just break this apart. Like so. Whoops. Uh, yes, so check the Blender Meetup. I think you guys have a World Meetup thing. Hey, buddy. Thanks for asking all the questions. Okay, I've been researching the topic of animated short films. This is awesome. Well, thank you. Welcome. Hopefully you get something out of it. Oops, what's this? Um, let's select that. You. Oops, tab in edit mode. You. Smart UV project. There we go. That's looking a bit better. Let's grab this. Control L. Let's give it another material, probably. Oh, actually, no, that's a good idea. So I'm going to have these cylinders as copper, metal, and then assign that. Nice. I think this, these need to be some sort of different color as well. Control L. Let's maybe throw the copper color on there as well. Assign. Mm. Oof. Let's grab these, whatever these are. Control L. Add copper assign. Definitely we need to come over here and work on whatever this is. Control L. So I gotta do it like so. Okay. And so when we come in and make the um the cockpit area, or oh, we'll actually export this section and make that as my guide because obviously you can't have some gigantor cockpit in the small area okay beautiful and i'm just going to create new material and we'll call this glass now i'm just going to make this black for now um, but we might come in and make it a little bit more um might actually make glass and if we can we will put the actual cockpit in there so maybe it does a shot of um, our main character in there. And let's go assign. So this is the kind of effect that we've got at the moment. It's not too bad. These lights, what does it look rendered? Um, let me, I'm just going to put a sun on that to, oops, we are in Eevee. Oh. I'm not sure if I should I should render it in Eevee. It's stupid not to. Because the amount of time this is, you know, going to be taking. Can you show the keys you're pressing? Oh, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Screencast keys. Nope, nope, nope. There it is. Tick. There we go. Okay, cool. That's now working. Uh, I don't know. Can you show me the keys? Yes. So normally he tells. Yes. <laughs> um, how long is your short film? I am going to aim for probably four minutes. Now, the, uh, see, Eevee's cool for those quick things, but I do want, I want something a little bit more spicy. Um, definitely, I'll, I'll work out a material to put paint. Oh, actually, let's go over to kit ops. Um, as you can see, I've invested a lot in, in add-ons. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's jump over into plastics. I want 
plastic. That kind. Oh, now if I, let me just quickly add a default cube and then I click on this. There we go. All right, so now we've got that. Let me come into shading, change this. What color ship should it, what color should it be? I do like the idea of maybe like a gray color, but it's mm, mm. maybe I don't think mm, I don't think that's the right thing. I don't think that's the right thing to do right now. Let's come back into layout, and what I will do is I'm going to select some faces. Let's come into here, some faces. Control L. Like that, let's come back into extreme PBR. Let's come down to here. Um, corrugated, corrugated diamond plate. No, nope, nope. Metal two. Did I see so corrugated? That's the one I wanted. So let's now add new and we'll sign that one definitely this area control L let's add in galvanized steel assign it's kind of more just to break up that color galvanized steel assign now let's have a look at it Ooh. oh oh select that you smart UV project like that, you smart you project. Right, so this is too big. Okay, so let's come into select all this, jump into UV editing, select that. Now you can see this rubbish here, how it's taking up a lot of um, empty space. There's an add on called UV Packmaster. So if you have a look at this, and then we go pack, bam, mm. beautiful. And then I'm just going to scale that up by two. And we'll come back into here. There we go. That's looking, yeah, that's looking a lot better. Um, let's select the back door, control L, assign sign just in case I didn't um, yeah there's nothing really below oh geez that's ugly isn't it so that's a l that's not working out so let's go UV editing oh UV right so what's happened is because I selected everything when I did the UV unwrap um, it actually made everything on the UV unwrap so that's my fault I shouldn't have done that should have done everything individually you smart UV project. Oh, I hate you. Let's go into UV editing scale by two. Come into layout. And I think I might do one more. Let's make just this section here that to be galvanized as well. So we now have got a lot of white. We've got black. I believe this area here as well probably should be galvanized. And something in the middle here. Want that there, that piece, and no, this piece. I think I think that's maybe this piece as well. Control L, yeah, nice. And you are galvanized. That doesn't look too bad. Now, one of the items is the word Narabunda, Nana War, um, and I will make a decal and have it sitting on there that's a future marker's problem now this cockpit business how big should I make the actual cockpit I was thinking of doing something small I don't want to do too much hey there's piping there let's fix that piping while we're here before we forget let's select both of these control L um, I'm going to expand on that let's make rubber 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 Assign. Let's select these two. Control. No. No, no, no. Sorry. Select these. Control numpad plus. And that'll be metal. Now, why? What's going on here? Seems like. 
Oh, I thought there was meshes sitting on top. Let me maybe go Alt M merge by distance. No, okay, that's fine. Okay, what ifs? What do we got? Uh, are you creating interior of the spaceship? Yes, I will be doing this cockpit area. Uh, yeah. You, your packmaster is so dope. There's a link in the description. Uh, needs more curves. I agree. Hey, there's pieces in there. Cool, I got rid of some pieces. Control L and we'll make that copper as well. Um, key press is hidden behind your head. <laughs> okay. Um, offset. Uh, how does this work? Okay. There we go. Okay. Done. Beautiful. Oh, jeez. Already almost out of water. Okay, let's just select that with that. Nope, that's all one thing. Dang you, I hate you. Okay, let's deselect that. Oh, let's go numpad 5, so we're going to orthographic mode. Control numpad plus. Deselect that. Alt right click, deselect that. And let's go galvanize. Just one last piece. Control S. Let's move on. Okay, this piece here. What's this one? This one. F2. We'll call this the cockpit. File. Let's go new file now. Blender. How much do you use a computer screen for blend? How much do you use a computer screen for Blender? You would probably use it quite a bit. I don't, I don't know how to use Blender without a computer screen. File. Oops, let's go into here. File. Import. Import. FB. Nope. My eyes get red, you know. Any safety for that? I don't know. I've got like a blinding light right here in front of me. That's probably not safety. But it's for you guys, so you can see me better. Um, whoa! We've got 27 people. Wow. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll be streaming for the next week, every night, um, to try and get this short film done. I will be streaming um, during the day on a Monday, um, which at the moment is 10 p.m. Take away 12 hours, and it will be then. Okay, so let's go cockpit append. So this is our cockpit. Alt G to reset the location. Now this should probably be bigger. So I'm going to go scale by five. All right. And then we can see that I'm just going to plop it about there. Two meters. Nice. Now, does this have a mirror modifier? It does not. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, so for now, I'm just going to go V to rip that. Control L. P separate by selection and then I can hide that piece and let's grab all this control L control L P separate by selection hide that piece okay Now, should the cockpit be a standing cockpit or a sitting cockpit? If you mean the size of the screen, I recommend full skies and take breaks every two hours and rest your eyes. No, 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 no. Correct. Hey, buddy. Great work. Great to meet you. Where are you from? From time zone reasons, I am GMT 20, uh, 10 plus. I'm 10 plus, pretty much. Um... Remember the bell button for a mind of the stream. Yes, hit that bell button. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the channel to grow a little bit. It's been stagnant for a little bit. I get a steady stream of people coming in. Okay, so I'm just going to create the floor now, and I'm going to use this as a template. Let's go size X minus 1, and the reason for that is if I go numpad 1, I'm looking at front. If I go numpad 3, I've got this side, so I can see the insides of it. All right, so let's just block this out. Um, let's go G, X. Um, let's put a mirror in there. Let's delete these vertices. Let's go mirror, 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 mirror. Let me go G, Z to bring that up a little. Oh, but there's glass on this side, isn't there? Oh, ploppers. Oh no, that's fine. Glass is there, okay. So we can, same camera. Welcome. 
uh, GDM2 here. Queensland. Lovely jubblies. We've got French. We've got people from India. We've got people from Colombia. We've got people from... Kazakhstan? Not Kazakhstan. Somewhere else. All of you, welcome. <laughs> Scotty, you're not making a lights, camera, action, short film, are you? Better not be taking my ideas. <laughs> well, maybe you are, and that's why you're here, to check out what I'm doing. I don't know. Okay, um, I'm just going to remove this for now. And let's grab GZ. So if we're looking at this, we've got, it's not two meters high yet. So let's just grab everything. GZ, I'm going to kind of just make it so it's in line there. And we've got two meters. Beautiful. I know this character is not going to be two meters tall. Um, from here, let's come into here. Turn on clipping. And then turn that back on. GYX. Whoops, sorry. Extrude X. And so now we've kind of got our um, basis for our cockpit. From here, let's grab this GY, bring it back. I'm going to hide that now because I no longer need it. And what we're going to do is we're going to close this off by... Lol, are you on to me? Aaron says hi. So does Christian. Oh, yeah. If you guys need any models, let me know. <laughs> um... I've lost track of thought now. Oh, you jerks. It's good good to, good to see people checking out everyone else. I was very much um, following Christian's film two years ago. I think um, he had one of his friends from Melbourne come down. And I remember following that on Instagram religiously. Trying to see what was going on. <laughs> So there's nothing, nothing quite like a bit of healthy competition. Okay, so bringing that in. Technically, this... Oh, you know what? I should be... No, no, no. So let's go backwards. Let's work. Now I'm trying to think how I should do this bit because we've got our glass section in here. Um, so you're going to have two hours on second I'll probably be doing three four hours okay now I'm just trying to work out how to do the interior because this is obviously kind of like the windows of the cockpit and I want to match that as much as possible so let's let's work backwards so I'm going to grab this shift D let's hide that one let's grab this and I want to keep all these meshes in here all right. Uh, Scotty, what do you think of the items this year? Oh my goodness. They have destroyed my script. So I've had to do big rewrite. Let's grab that and I want that. There we go. Let's grab this section. C. Um, so what I'm referring to there is for this short film festival, we've got 10 items uh, or locations that we have to use. Let's now delete faces. And now I can align that backwards. Yes. No. Wait. That should be fine. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm trying to work out how to invert these. I think if I select everything and we go individual origins, scale, size, Shift Z. No, it's not going to work. Okay. So let's grab that. Scale X, Y, minus 1. So now that's inverted. Let's select this. Rotate Z, 45. Rotate Z, Z, 40. Rotate Z, 45. Scale Y, minus 1. Rotate Z, 45. Minus, put that back in. Let's grab all this, scale X minus one. Beautiful. So now that everything's inverted, and now technically we should be able to join up all the meshes. I don't know why my phone keeps saying stuff. All right. Cool beans. Cool bananas. The external of the ship isn't that important, 
but I just want to get the front of that ship. So that's that's nice. And now it looks like a glass is inset. So we've now got a border, which is good. Let's work off that. I'm just going to grab these four vertices. I haven't been in the game for a few years. I, hang on, I'm not sure what is in the list this year, but I know buggers up everyone's script, correct. But if you need a hand, hit me up. Maybe I will. <laughs> um, I have been trying to get into Lights, Camera, Action for probably a decade now. Um, however, I did win it two years ago, three years ago. I won Best Animation, but I didn't get in. Work that out. <laughs> um, okay, so let's... I'm just going to start putting in some edge loops so I can start joining up these meshes. Is that correct? Ah, okay, so I can't see that. Hey, buddy. What's up, homie? I am um, making a spaceship. I'm trying to make the interior of a cockpit. There we go. GX. Beautiful. There we go. Sweet, congrats. I know, but I've yet to sit up there with, with the folks, with the likes of Aaron and um, Tina did well last year. Obviously, um, Christian. I came to Canberra and you automatically became my arch enemy, even though you have no idea who I am. <laughs> I want to beat you. Are you using plugins? I'm using so many plugins. Um, to list the plugins, I've currently so far used KitOps. I have used Extreme PBR Combo. I have used Screencast Keys. I have used Auto Rig Pro. I have used, um, what's that other one? UV Packmaster. So I'm smashing it with plugins. I'm, I actually buy quite a few plugins. Um, and I do reviews on all of them. I was doing the audio line. <laughs> um, but yes, I use a lot of plugins just in all my workflows. Um, it's just easier. Um, especially with Reillusion. Um, I think I copped a little bit of flack over that for buying, you know, character creation software. But the way I look at it is, okay, for me to learn character creation, it's going to take, you know, 30, 40 hours. Um, ah, so Scotty, we might've actually met because I was in some of Aaron's short films in, for when he was a student. Um, so I purchased Reillusion's character creator because like I was saying is, you know, if I spend 30 hours learning a character and then it's going to take me another 20 hours to make a character, that's 50 hours I've lost where, you know, character creator, I've paid 300 bucks. I can pump out characters left, right and center. So now that 50 bucks, if I say that's $10 an hour, if I say those 50 hours and I say it's $10 an hour, that's 500 bucks gone. So kind of justifies it, if you know what I mean. Even if I use the character once. Okay, what do we got? So we're here now. Um, oh, this stuff me up a little bit. What I will do is cheat. Let's just grab these two, F, and I can select this face, F, join them up. And let's come into here. E to extrude, where are we? We're in the right spot, that's good. And then I'm just gonna select these two faces, F, Let's grab that. E to extrude. I'm just going to guesstimate. Come on. Work with me, buddy. G, X, Y. Did I not extrude that? Oops, my mistake. E to extrude on the Y. There we go. Let's go one into it. Alt M last. Let's select these and go face. Beautiful. So we're almost there with the roughing out of the inside. Let's grab all this. I'm just gonna, there we go, beautiful. 
box to select. Let's get rid of that one. E, Z, bring that down. And so what I'm pretty much just doing at the moment is just blocking out the interior. Uh, Brian, yes, Matt. There it is, but it's like anything once standing, you know, it becomes easier. I completely und under agree. <laughs> I <completely> agree. <laughs> Film sounds challenging. Yet, yeah, I will. I've got a few ideas on how I'm going to do that this year. I need to focus a little bit more on sound. Um, Alt M last. Whoa, jeez. Alt M. Alt M. Alt M distance. I think I've got duplicate faces in here. I sure do. What did I do here? Let's get rid of these faces. Delete faces. And we've got some more. One in there. Delete faces. We've got one more in there. Delete face. Did I delete the right one? I don't know. Cool. I think that's fine. Beautiful. And then from here, let's grab this area. No, I want this area here. Why? Come on. All right. Uh, if you need a hand with that. I do. I, I, I might take you up on that offer. We'll see. <laughs> um, I do have a Discord. Um... And if you want to jump on there, there's a link in the description. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. How much time is it? Okay. I've got a feeling it will be a late one, but I just kind of want to get the interior going. Size X. Size Y, zero. Um, just so that we can start working on hopefully some animation, get some facial motion capture going tomorrow. Um, I might even somehow throughout the day film um, what the actual film is going to look like just as um, kind of like pre-visualization let's just cheat beautiful that is sloppy as but sloppy is fine okay it's creating faces and I want this last face to be created face there we go hunky dory we have what we want. What is going on? What's this bit here? Ah, okay. Let's get rid of this shell now. Cool. Nope. Let's keep... Nope. Let's get rid of that one. And let's just get this bit going up here now. Alt M merge by distance. Zero vertices. Cool. Because there is something here that shouldn't be there. There we go. Let's come up to the top here. Select this top section. Lovely jubblies. I don't know what that vertice is doing, but we'll fix that in a sec. E to extrude on the Z axis. Let's go wireframe and select everything. Size Z zero, just to make sure that is perfectly straight. Come into here, select these two. No. Oh. Okay, let's work out. So I've got a problem here. Ah, I've got duplicate vertices or something. Face. Beautiful. Look at that. Lovely. Excellent. Now, I was thinking when I create this cockpit, I was thinking, should it be like a standing cockpit or should it be a sitting one? Because um, I have to remember that there's going to be a robot and then we talked about it's going to be only one arm hanging off the bottom. Oh, it's hot. There's only going to be one arm, so he kind of needs to be sitting off to the side so this robot can be there floating, um, helping him out. Is it going to be standing, or should I make it sitting? I kind of like the idea of... I kind of like the idea of an off-center cockpit. I think that'll, that'll probably work. So let's go with... I have to delete that later. So that's what... Yeah, let's go with that. Um, thinking roof, 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 roof. So the next part is let's work on the roof. The roof, the roof is on fire. Y size Y zero GY. 
Let's plop that there and we'll do what we kind of did with the floor as well. Y and we'll grab that all the way to the end. Okay. Let's kind of start putting in these edge loops as well. Two, let's grab this, control B to bevel that. And then I can come into here, select that edge there and press F, 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 F. And it creates our face, delete edge, lovely. What film is this going to be about? So um, pretty much um, it's a guy that goes around to different planets to terraform them. Um, that's the gist of it. What is this? Why are there so many duplicate faces coming through? Delete. Delete face. Oh, crud. Face. There we go. Okay. Any duplicate faces? No. Okay. Are you doing anything? Are you doing everything alone? Sure am. Idea is mine. Story is mine. I'll be doing the motion capture music. Um, I will probably just go through YouTube's audio library on that sound effects. I've got a few ideas on how I'm going to do it. Is it the smartest option? I don't know, but we'll find out. <laughs> oh, this is such a challenge. Um, 10 days to make this short film. It, jeez, save this file. Come on. Um, we want to go interior. So locations, sci-fi int, save as. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got the basis of our interior. Um, I'm just going to put in that mirror modifier just so I can see what it kind of looks like. How much room do we have? So we've got plenty of room to work with, which is good. Um, what are we looking at? So we've got just about two and a half meters. And so if we put probably a chair here-ish, that might be okay. I'm just going to go file. Mm, let me just save this. File, link. Well, actually, no, I can scale it up, so it doesn't really matter. But I do need a character. Um, Ryan Phillips, because this is a test one that I did. This one? Collection, character one, link. There we go, buddy. Are you cool? Space, proxy, make proxy, and it is a rig. There we go. All right, so now I can control this dude where he goes. And so I'm just going to kind of use him as a scale. So this is pretty tight fit, but I think that's fine. Let's go into pose mode, and I want him to be sitting... <coughs> I want it to be sitting down probably about here. That gives him really good visibility of out all the windows. Um, he doesn't really need that much visibility, but that's fine. And I'm just going to quickly kind of just pose him. Um, for motion capture, I would like to use the 360 uh, Xbox One Connect, but um, I don't know. It just... I haven't been getting good results out of, out of it, so I will be using the Oculus Rift to capture hands and head. I've tried to design this as much as possible to not be lower limbs. Um, even though it's an animated short film, I'm trying to remove as much animation as possible. <laughs> um, but like I showed you guys before, if you're, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I did have the facial motion capture going before, just as an example. So let's now go into object mode. Let's bring that over here. I'm going to hide half of it. All right, cool beans. His legs aren't going to be like that. They will probably be, oops, let's come back up here. No, select the rig, pose mode, G, Y, X, probably be sitting something like this. He's got a saggy bottom for some reason, but this is a, this was one of my test characters, so I'm not wondering. Can you do a tutorial motion capture? I will be doing a tutorial motion capture. Um, absolutely, most definitely will be doing that. Um, in two weeks, I've got a video on a quick overview of Reillusion's facial motion capture suite. Okay. Whoops. All right. 
let's go back into object mode, shift S, cursor world origin, shift A, let's add in our cube. Not the default cube, because nobody likes the default cube. G, Y. And I'm just going to square that roughly on his head. Beautiful. All right, let's dance. G, Z, size Z, kind of something like this. Scale on like so, I think probably about here-ish looks pretty good. And I'm just using him as reference at the moment. There we go. Put an edge loop in the middle. V. What is that? What the heck is this? Oh crud, what have I pressed? I don't know what that was. <laughs> I've never seen that before. All right, mirror modifier. Um, so this is what he's gonna, this is gonna be the size of the seat. Let's enable clipping. Um, let's come probably about here-ish. All right, well, no, 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 no. most cameras, please. Yes, I hope not mu such a film. I hope not such a film as German short films. I have no idea. So let's grab this. I'm just gonna hide that and hide that. And let's just work on the bottom of the chair. G, Z. Okay, so this is gonna be the cushion. From here. I'm gonna leave that edge loop in there. Let's put in two edge loops in here. And I'm gonna put three edge loops in here. Put another one in there. Um, let's throw on the subdivision surface modifier. So that now we've got um, this. Let's go edge loop in here, edge loop like so. I'm gonna grab this, control B to do a bevel. Control R to put another edge loop in. Alt S to scale. Hmm. Why are you scaling weird? Alt S. Ah, because I'm up here, medium point. There we go. Lovely. Let's press V to rip so they're separate. Um, I'm going to grab this, come out wide, come out wide. And then we will do the same for them here. What I will do as well is... <sighs> furniture is not my forte, but I'm still giving it a crack. Let's grab this section, G, Z. And kind of what we got here is where the bottom comes in here-ish. Let's deselect them. G, Z. Oops, I've got to add in another edge loop, another edge loop in there. And we're going to grab all this and kind of bring that down. Let's select that there, G, Z. And so now if we kind of look at the chair, it's got kind of like a bum groove happening in there, which is what we want. Um, let's put an edge loop that comes around there. Edge loop that comes around there. Probably put an edge loop here-ish. Okay. So we've got that now. Um, he will be sitting, so it's not going to be very visible, but I will... I kind of want to push this out a little bit, so I'm going to select that edge loop, come up here into proportional editing. G. G. Okay, there we go. And let's just bring... Okay, that's not going to work. Let's grab this, GX. And let's just expand that selection there. There we go. Um, let's just go smooth, shade smooth. I'm going to come over here just in case to normals and auto smooth. There's nothing really to be auto smooth. Yes, there is. So let's grab this section, GG. And just kind of pull that back a little bit. There we go. Uh, German short films, are they bad? Sometimes they're bad. There's plenty of short films that are bad. Uh, one time I watched some African country short film and it was pretty great. Uh, yes, those guys are pretty committed to making good short films. Um, it's amazing what you can accomplish. And I mean, that just goes for everyone. Like if you put the time and effort in, you can make cool stuff. Uh, this is a joke. When the Iron Curtain fell, many short, many short hot videos from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
the hall. <laughs> Let's go from here, Shift S. Uh, sorry, I want to select here, Shift S. Cursor to select it. Let's go, Tab, Shift A, Mesh. Let's put in an edge loop. V to rip. Let's select that side, delete vertices. It is 10.30. We still got an hour and a half to go, which is quite nice. Even though I've only kind of self-imposed these deadlines to myself, but I think that's important. Let's grab that G on the X. Let's make sure we've got add modifier, mirror modifier turned on and clipping G X. There we go. And we will do the same thing that we did here-ish. Um, nobody really sits like that. So let's come into here, pose mode, and we will rotate back a little bit. And he slouches just like everyone else in the world. There we go. And how's that looking? Good. So now we can come back to object mode, come back into our back plane. Rotate. G. Ex extrude. All right. So let's grab something like that, that edge. Oh, now, now I'm trying to think. Okay. All right, so let's go. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't oh, I don't like it. Probably something like that. And something like that. Funnily enough, it has been probably years. I don't know how many years. It has been a long time since I was learning, or well, I still am learning Blender. You never stop learning Blender because there's always something that comes out that makes you go, what? Um, I still remember roughly how CG Cookie made their chairs in that helicopter tutorial. I know, and I think I've had this discussion with some of you previously. I remember the exact moment where I went, I want to learn 3D. And that is in Star Wars Episode 1 with the um, pod racers. There's a part of the scene where... Oh, that goes all the way around. That's nice. There's a part where they're racing through the canyon. And the way the light... The, the pod is half in the canyon. What is that? Oh, that's fine. The pod is half in... Oh, there's a window up there. Oh, ploppers. Stop it. Um, and the light is like half on the um, pod racer and half on the canyon. And I just went, I want to learn how to do that. And that's what got me into Blender, Star Wars. I mean, Star Wars is fantastic just alone, but... <laughs> yeah, the, the pod racing's pretty cool as well. <laughs> G, X, X. Whoops. Turn O. GX, turn on that proportional editing. Probably something like that. And then I will grab all these faces. Dang it. Okay. See how he runs. Um, yes, no. But that was to me, that was magic. All right, let's go shade smooth. It's not too bad. That gives me what I want. Okay, excuse me, character. Off you, on your bike. Um, which one's this? Okay, hide, solid. Now, technically, I don't need this. I don't need that. The chair is off center. That's fine. So I can turn on mirror modifier. Just have a look. Just kind of at our spacing. So that's pretty good. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll put a control panel probably around, just like half around. I think that'll look nice. Uh, the chair doesn't look too bad. I think that it should scale in G X. Beautiful like that. Now let's attach these two pieces. Shift S cause what origin let's, well, that didn't work. Actually, let's just go like this. Shift S cursor to selected. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a back plate, rotate X 90 degrees, press O to turn on proportion, turn off proportional editing. And then what this is going to do is I'm going to grab this back section. I probably could have just duplicated it, but let's just go this way. Let's use some modifiers. Modifier, let's go shrink wrap modifier. Let's turn that into a project onto this thing. There it is. Cool. Apply. Oops. Apply. And now it's, we know that this is now sitting flush. Let's go extrude like so. From here, what are we going to do is probably come down and around and come under the seats. Um, looks like an armored car from the Warhammer universe. Yeah, kinda, maybe. Shift D, scale on the X, let's scale that in. Something like this. Let's go E to extrude, beautiful. How should I do this? Maybe, maybe something like this. Let's grab Y frame, let's grab these two vertices. G on the Y. Let's grab these, scale Y zero. I'm gonna put that in there, grab this face, E to extrude. And then what I can do is grab this face. Maybe, whoops, let's grab all that. Come on. Let's grab this face on the Y axis. Yeah, cool beans. Um, we won't be looking under the chair, so I don't need to be too specific about that. However, we're going to need something underneath here. 32 people, welcome. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Cheese and whiskers. Um, I will be live streaming for the next week on creating this animated short film. The night is young. We have plenty to do. Um, from here, what am I going to do to... How am I going to attach it to the floor? So I could probably comes maybe mm, let's go shift D scale on the X and we'll scale that in G Z extrude straight down G Z bring that up E to extrude scale shift Z scale on the X G Z bring that down extrude. And so that kind of joins onto the floor. E, let's go scale on the X, bring that out, delete faces. And then what this will do is it kind of gives us an ability to put some screws just there. Um, so this will be our floor plane. So that's good. Okay, cool beans. Um, what I will do is grab these sections in here and we've got to throw some bevels on here so i'm going to do Control b this is definitely going to be a big bevel let's go uh, bevel modifier shade smooth let's go into normals auto smooth there we go mm. oh that's fine so it doesn't look too bad let's make some bolts if i go shift s let's go up into edit Let's go into preferences and we're going to type in extra, extra objects. I think shift a mesh. We've got extra objects. Now I need bolts, bolts, gears. Ah, oh, you suck. Okay. Let's try. Let's see. Does this exist? Bolt factory. Nice. Shift a mesh. Bolt factory is not working. No, no. Round cube. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Rock generator. Well, that's cool. Dang it. I don't... Oh, there it is. Bolt. So let's just bring that all the way down. And so what I can do is with these giant bolts, I can hold... Come up here and we can go... Snap to face, G, and if I hold control, 
let's go tab into edit mode. The origin will snap to the face. So I'm just going to push that all the way down. And now that it's snapped to face, shift D, Y, there we go, shift D, X. Look at that. And now it looks like it's bolted to the ground. You little ripper. Hi, what version do you use of MoCAP? This one, this one for new. So I've got, so iClone's funny. You're going to need, you need iClone, you need Motion Live, and then you also need, depending on what you're using, you need the Live Face or Face Cap or something. So there's three of them that you need. I've just got Character Creator because I bought that first and then I kind of worked backwards. But yes, okay. So from here, What are we doing? So from here, let's now start creating our dashboard. Okay. Sorry, I've just moved the fan over a little bit. If you can hear the fan and it's irritating, please let me know. Um, what am I doing? Mirror. Okay, so from here, now we got to kind of make this control panel. What's that? Oh, nothing. Okay, so shift S cursor world origin. Let's go mesh cube. And let's just start kind of putting this together. G, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna keep it nice and low. So if his head's here, he can still look down. How would you decrease it? Yeah, no, they are, they are pretty bolty. Oh geez, I didn't even, you know what? I didn't even pay attention. So what we could do, I mean, you could just do that, but then the top circle would be diminished. But I mean, that's fine. I mean, who cares? Come on, where are you? That one there we keep. That one there and could select these, delete edge loops. Oops. Delete edge loops. And I mean, can't really tell, so eh, let's just do that. And then what I'll do is come underneath. Let's select all that. Delete. Oops, I don't want that. Oh, come on. Delete vertices. Done. <laughs> Is there, oh, far out. There probably is. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, shift D, Y, nope, shift D, X. There we go, la done. Um, where was I? I was creating this. So I don't want the control panel too high. Um, let's bring in alt H and we'll bring in our character so we can see kind of like where his knees are because um, I felt I f if I put it in the wrong spot it's kind of it's as if he's going to be banging his knees every single time he gets into this seat so that seems fine what we might do is bring that over G Y something like that seems pretty good we do need to put in controls I have come thinking about like do we really need controls that's actually not a bad idea just kind of have it almost as a desk sitting in front so his legs can be free under here um, if he needs to we can move around to the front hi my were you my tutor from Udemy how to create a short film yes I am buddy sure am I haven't, I haven't created an animated short film in oh, years, years. So I'm feeling very rusty, but I'm trying to get back into it. So let's go into the spin tool. Um, T, bring that up to the side. That is awesome. That is so cool. Welcome. Um, for those of you that didn't know, I did have a Udemy, well, I still do have a Udemy course, um, but it's, it's starting to show its age. It's from... Blender 2.79. How's that look? Does that work well? I reckon that does work well. 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this top section um, GZ nope 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 go back go back go back I missed the vertice GZ something like that and so now we can kind of see that's cool and maybe what we'll do is we'll put some screens hanging down in front because um, the script does call for the robot producing information oh I've got to make a robot <laughs> oh gosh okay that's fine cool beans um, this bit here we can probably I'm just going to move that off G hold control and just oops incremental GX move that off to the side cable it to the roof so that when he sits at the controls come down You're a jerk. That's a great idea. Oh, that is great. That's cool. That is cool. Okay, yes, I can do that. Dang you. Give me extra work. Okay, let's scale that down. And then what we'll do is we'll grab that. G, Y... So maybe what we'll do is rather than it coming down from the roof and you know, what we'll have it is um, shift S cursor to selected. Let's go a cylinder scale size X. Whoa. Rotate X 90 degrees. G Y. And what it will do is it'll rotate. Uh, no, that's fine. It'll rotate. I got a window here. That's why I was erring. Um, it can kind of pivot up and down. That's a good idea. Thank you, Scotty. Ah, ah, I love the competition. <laughs> um, okay, so how are we going to do that? So if I now select this, Control B to do a bevel. Let's come into there. Let's go number two to go into edge loop. Let's select these two. Oops. Select these two. Control B to do another bevel and middle mouse up. Control numpad minus alt s to scale that in lovely jubblies and then what we've got is oops let's make sure we go v to rip and then what we can do is grab these two faces come in here come in here e to extrude scale on the y and then we'll come into individual origins and scale that so that's what we've got cool shade smooth let's come over into here normals auto smooth that puppy there we go and now what I can do is hook another piece down into here so we'll just make that into oh, I got my cube no I don't shift s cursor to selected let's throw a cube in there now and we will grab this face G Z and we can now select this here. Let's spin. So it'll go out a little bit more. Tool, item, tool. There we go. And we will spin that around at 90 degrees. E to extrude. Is that in the glass? It is not. So let's now extrude that scale. And then E to extrude and we'll move that away nice and so now what we'll have is it'll spin up and down rather than going up and down yes i am modeling and designing on the way and i am taking input as well beautiful thank you scotty okay from here what is that i might have butchered that there i think that looks like a whole bunch of vertices dang it bobby let's go number one let's grab all that Alt M, merge at center. Let's select this. Alt M, merge at center. Box select, Alt M, merge at center. Box select, Alt M, merge at center. There we go. Okay, so we've cleaned that up now. Let's put on a bevel. 
I'm going to select these four edges, control B. Done. So that looks nice and industrial. Are you concerned about UVs while you're modeling? No, not really. Um, so because I've only got 10 days to really create this short film, um, what I'll probably end up doing is like, for instance, selecting all this, U, smart UV project, come over here into UV editing. We can see that it looks disgusting. I've got UV pack master two. Oops, select all that pack. Beautiful. Done. Um, UV pack master link in the description. <laughs> okay. What else we got? So that is now UV unwrapped. Um, from here, then I'd probably go probably into extreme PBR combo, add in a material. Um, ooh, what material? We might put the material on now. I don't want shiny. I want it a little bit worn out. So let's select that one. Add new. Whoops. Oh, crap. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Did you crash? No, good. Okay, save that. Um, and then so if we go into materials yeah we can see yeah it doesn't look too bad they'll probably find something else um well let's ugh, use smart UV project oakley doakley yeah yuck but we'll fix all this up later we'll definitely be putting panels on the floor and all that kind of stuff um so it's looking bare i've already forgotten what i was doing Ah, working on the control panel. So for now, I can probably get rid of this. And we've got our chap here. Um, if we come into cycles, which I'll probably be rendering, you can see that it will look nice and pretty. Uh, but definitely, that is not the right material. Let's grab maybe this one. Why? Ah, that's why replace yeah <laughs> it's a little bit rusty <laughs> uh, let's come over into add modifier zip bevel and we'll put a bevel on there as well and that's just giving it a little bit better okay all right let's go into i'm trying to think what model has it all right so let's start trawling through some old files Oh, I've got Greebles. I didn't even think about Greebles. Oh, you idiot. Oh, my goodness, people. Silly marker. Um, not that one. Falcon flight through. Not that one. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to remember. Capital ship, sci-fi dock, sci-fi fighter, short transport. No, that's definitely not that one. Let's sort of check what this one is. So I'm just going to go check some old files. Aha, this is the one. Oh, there's, that's the chair that I wanted. Dang it. I'm not going to steal it for now. I'm just going to leave it. Um, so this is an old spaceship that I created. Let's not use that one. Have you ever tried making an animation with UE4? I want to, but learning... Um, I've already struggled enough learning blueprints that, um, what am I saying? Like I need to learn the whole character blueprints as well. That's some, that's a skill that I, I probably will invest in. Cause that's something that really interests me. I don't know where it is. Okay. So let's just make it manually. Um, but yes, that is something I do want to look at doing. Um, because then you can use technically all the mega scan stuff for free. Cause as long as you use it in unreal engine, that's all free. And that's just something that I would love to be able to do. Let's go cursor to world origin, shift a, add in a cube. Oops. Let's just get off, get back to the solid mode. And we will kind of quickly create some sort of screen. Scale on the Y. And let's grab this I to do an inset. Let's do these things, which I probably shouldn't, but I am like this, like this scale. Oops, sorry. Scale Y. There we go. 
and then we can grab these here, press C, E to extrude. And now what I'll do is this here, actually no, now I can, I'll keep that there for now. And then what I'll do is I'll delete that a little bit later. Um, yeah, yeah, I look definitely that is, that is on my to-do list. Um, I think it'll be magic to do something like that. Uh, that'll probably make me a little bit more powerful. <laughs> I'm sure that's a lot of, it's a, a lot of people would love to see those tutorials. Um, but yeah, it's just something I've got to sit down and learn. All right, so there's that, oh, that ship. Oh, no, not that ship. Don't worry about that one. And let's grab, don't mind me. Just losing the plot and it's already only day one. Okay, let's grab it. Something like that. Um, who's got buttons? The Greeble pack from Chris Coon has it. Chris Coon's got them. B Greebles. Oh, I think it's Chris Coon. So I completely forgot about using Greebles, and this is another thing that I've invested quite a bit in. <laughs> Um, it's more now, what can we, what can we steal? So he's got, so he's got this cockpit. That's a really nice cockpit. Um, but tonight, yeah, I'm just going to try and get as much modeling done as possible. Console labels. So that's cool. Um, that is not the one. That is not what I'm after. Who's got it? So these are all my Greeble kits. that I have. I wish I had a um, affiliate link for this one, but I don't. And everyone else is pretty much for free. Adrian Rogowski, what have you got? You've got hydraulics and all that, cameras and sensors. Actually, when we're building the robot, we might take that one. Random parts, let's check random parts. I think I might just have to model it all out. Hmm, is there anything I can take from here? No, nah, not really. Let me just check somebody else's. Nick. Cool. Optics, beautiful. Olga, hard surface, poly, arm, cable, sick. Can I go into... Come on, Windows. Surely you're going to let me check in 3D models. No. Nah. You're a jerk. You're a jerk, Windows. Anyway, uh, right below the stream, but I guess there's a uh, finished script and scene breakdown. Are you doing the voices VFX? Uh, that's a lot of work. It sure is in 10 days. Um, script has been written. Shade smooth. Oh, bevel uh, angle. Uh, script has been written. VFX. Yes, I know what I'm doing. Um, 47 viewers. Well, wow, awesome. Welcome, guys. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, the way I've written it is I'm doing an animated short film with minimal animation, pretty much. But I am animating, so. Um, for those of you who have joined, let me just quickly, I will show you what I will be using. So let that load up. I've already forgotten. Buttons, 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 buttons. Okay, let's go cube, scale. Oh, what kind of buttons? Um, we can do toggle buttons. Even though we are technically in the future, they can still use buttons. They're allowed to. So let's grab this this face in here. I to do an inset. So I'm just thinking how we're gonna do this. Let's grab the four edges, control B. And we'll do that. Let's grab the face. I to do an inset. And then I to do another inset. So we've got that. Numpad 5. So I can go into orthographic. Let's size that in. Um, let's now put an edge loop in there. G, Z. V to rip. So now this is independent. G, Z. Scale on the Z axis. And now we've created a very simple button. Uh, smooth, shade smooth. Let's come into here. Auto smooth. Lovely jubblies. I will put probably a manual bevel on there just so we've kind of got this button. 
um, from here. Let's go, it's a big button. That's about right. We can come back up into here onto the face. G and hold control and that'll snap to face in there. Let's kind of rotate that around. So we've got buttons. We've got buttons for days. Like so and probably one more for good measure. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's grab these three. Shift D on the X. And we can put another button in there. And then what we'll do is we'll multicolor it. So let's jump into iClone 7 for the 44 people that are here at the moment. Um, let me send across my character file, 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 export, send to iClone 7. Let's jump onto here. And let me just turn my phone on. And then we go live face keep. Kimon. No, don't delete it. Just open it. Beautiful. Um, let me zoom in on this chap. There we go. And then if I come into here, motion live, um, let me add in my phone's IP 192.168.0.7. Press enter. Press that button and it'll connect. Lovely jubblies. Let's click on this thing. Live face. Preview. Press play. So this is um, Real Illusions. Oh, hang on. Let me just zero the face. There we go. So that's... That's a little bit better. So this is the facial motion capture that I'll be using. I wish I had um, full body. It's a little bit laggy at the moment, but that's because I think because I'm streaming and I've got a few other things open. So, but normally... Mm, hello, darling. Mm. <laughs> I love this thing. Oh. Whoa, what witchcraft is this? This is real illusion. Um. <laughs> so, if you can, if on the odd chance, if you buy this for some reason. Um, is this iPhone only? Yes. And I specifically bought an iPhone 10 just so I could do this kind of stuff. Oh yes. Mm. Um, I am pretty far away from the phone at the moment, so it's only taking up half my face. Um, it is an iPhone. This is iPhone. Um, but if I kind of bring it to my face closer, oh, mm. oh darling. Need a coffee stir. What? Oh, mm. I do need a bit of. No, I had some juju juice, so I'm pretty good at the moment. Um, I'm Jason Statham. Yeah. What? You want a piece of me, right? <laughs> oh man, I just play with this for yonks. So anyway, <laughs> this is real illusion. Um, if, if if for some reason you guys do decide to go down this route and get it. Even, even just for the character creation parts. Let me just move my phone out to the side. Um, even just for the character creation part. Just just say, hey, I saw it off from Markham 3D, just to let you know. Um, but yeah, this is what I'll be using. Um, unfortunately, I don't have body capture. I've got, I've got an Oculus Rift that I'll be using. Um, and I don't know if I'll do that on live stream because it might work, it might not. I might actually have to uh, manually animate. Um, but the face will be covered. Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's go back into it. So this is Revolution. I clone seven. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Anyway. Bye-bye. Oh, go away, phone. Okay, from here. Where are we? Nope. We're in the wrong scene. This one. All right, so we've got these buttons, three buttons. I'll probably move them up so they're in line with the screens. Okay, where's our screens there? So if I go G. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I would say that's fine. And then what I'll do is I'll come in and probably just give all these different light, different colors. Um, I do need a joystick. Dang it, I need a joystick. Let's grab this whole setup. I'm gonna grab these as well. And I'm just gonna, whoops, just move it off to the, s 
just away a little bit. Probably GZ move it up a little bit. So I'm just trying to align it in a good spot. Let's grab, let's go back into that joystick. I really like that joystick. Okay. B Greebles, see how he runs. Have you ever seen a rascal run? Er, er, er. Okay, I'm gonna grab. I don't wanna grab that joystick. I don't like that joystick. I wanna grab this joystick. Okay, so what is this? Cockpit assembly. Okay, that's fine. Okay, file. I want to append. Um, I have no idea where they are. 3D assets, greebles, B greebles, C2, object. What do we say? Cockpit assembly. Append. There you are. Hello. Alt G. Rotate Z 180. And I want to grab. Oh, I'm going to steal so much stuff from this. Let's grab this, 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 this. Control L. Also, while well, I've got everyone here as well, I do have a second channel that I've started, which is all about um, soft body simulations and such. So if you want to support that, head over to there. There should be a link in the description. Um, let me just kind of real, whoops, got to go back into medium point. Let's rotate like that. Let's rotate this like so. And I'm just trying to reline that up. Yep, that's nice. P, separate by selection. Let's grab that. And we will plop that. Oh, let's get a bit smaller, buddy. So something like that. Um, mm, I, don't, I don't like that. Um, let's go object, set origin to 3D geometry. There we go. So now I've got a little bit more flexibility but I don't like it sitting there. I think it's a bit weird. Oh, oh, you know what? Let's just leave it there. Probably on the side. I've got some weird songs going through my head at the moment. Um, let's grab, get rid of two of these buttons. G. X, move that off to the side, and then that way, you know, he's got just another controller in there. Bit wonky, but good place, helmet goggles, and characters golden, well planned. Yes. Um, let's grab now back into here. There it is. I was wondering where that went. Let's grab this, and I'm going to grab Control L. Let's grab all this. Control L. Control L, and There we go. P, separate by selection. Let's select this. Object, set origin to geometry. Um, but anyway, so yes, this is from Chris Kuhn. That guy's unbelievable. What a jerk. I don't, I don't mean jerk in a bad way. I mean jerk in a bad way. <laughs> He's... He's so good at what he does. Hmm. Size X, Y, minus one. I think rotate. Hmm. Size Y, minus one. Maybe what we'll do. Maybe that's what we'll do. Let's go Alt R. I hate you. Rotate 90 degrees minus. And so it'll sit like this, rotate Z 180. It'll sit like this in between his legs. Um, and we're gonna grab this section, control L, G, I'm gonna rotate 180. So it sits like that. From here, I'm gonna grab probably maybe here 
V to rip, control L, delete vertices. And then let's now grab all this section G. And that's got plenty of room. Is that too big? I think that's fine there. Let's really move that in a bit more. And then I'm going to grab that inner area there, face. Let's go E to extrude. I'm going to select it probably about here-ish. Let's come into... Sorry, anyway, back to what I was saying. He's not a jerk. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want anyone to say me to... Um, he's just amazing at what he does. Um, he's, he's one of those other people who I look up to quite a bit. Um, and I've actually learned quite a bit off him as well. All right, so that's what we got. I'm going to probably come up here. Let's select this. Size, Shift, Z. Probably something like that. And then that way I can select all this. Box select all this. Oh, actually, no. Let's just go, rather than moving that controller, because I like it where it is, I'm going to go... Um, O proportional editing and I just want to affect what's co uh, connected there we go Marco you beast keep up the work oh hey Chris welcome buddy um, you just missed the show as well <laughs> the wonderful show of craziness <laughs> all right uh, so there's the control I think that works okay um, and I can put a pivot point in here if he's flying, but um, we won't really be flying. And as we spoke about before, the control will kind of um, fold upwards. So you won't really see this, which is good. So we've hidden it well. Um, thank you, Mr. Scott. Let's go E to extrude. Nope. O, E to extrude scale, E, Z. Let's put that in there. Lovely. That's nice three buttons I don't think he needs a lot of controls I'll be heading to bed soon Coco first speed day tomorrow whoa geez congratulations whoa everyone left anyway okay so we'll keep going um what should I put here I think probably I should put some other types of controls I wish I knew where those buttons were which is really annoying me I'm just trying to think of which pack has it look let's let's move forward let's move forward onto the rest of the cockpit so shift s cursor world origin let's go start creating some okie dokie shift s cursor to world origin there we go um because we need to as part of the script screen with a map yes so what it'll actually be is um, I will have a, another robot in here and because of the objects, what they are, they're horrendous. Um, he will reference um, the robot to bring up stats on places he's been. And what that'll do is it'll bring up images of the locations. So I don't really have to model forestry, which yes. So I'm not too keen on the objects this year. They've made it pretty stinking difficult. Well, that's all I gotta say. So let's go like that. Let me now hide this. Um, scale, scale on the Y. Um, I'm gonna select this whole area. I'm gonna do Shift D. Let's scale that in. Wait, this is a cupboard that it will be open. So let's put two shelves, G, Z, and bring that up, scale, Z, something like that i'm going to grab these three faces press i to do an inset but i'm going to press i again like so and e to extrude so now we've kind of got separate shelves in here there we go shift d g y x and now i can come up here individual origins let's expand that E to extrude. Ah, oh, and the whole pictures thing, that's that's thanks to Christian there. 
because there was one short film that he did where he literally put all freaking 10 items on a picture uh, it was the one with the serial killer mother I think it was um shift s curse world cursed shift s cursed to selected and now we're going to make some handles i'm just going to add in a plane scale rotate y 90 degrees scale gx bring that out so something like this scale y yep like that um e to extrude because this would be kind of like the plate that it sits on from here shift d let's yeah i remember that one i was like you jerk <laughs> i think after that film they changed the rules that you need to, you need to have at least interact with like two or three of them or something <laughs> yeah you ruined it for everyone and we'll select that e to extrude and so there's kind of our handle And this is coming from the guy who was on top of a mountain naked as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hilarious. So there's our door handle. I think I don't like it that much. So I'm just going to put some bevels on it. Just to make it look a little bit cleaner. Um, probably could use the bevel modifier, but I'm just going to do this bit manually. Cool beans. Control B. How's that look? That looks nice. And then we'll go shade smooth. Um, you want some more geometry in here. Control B. Something like that. Beautiful. Do I have shade smooth, buddy? There we go. And then we click on auto smooth. Nice. From here, this plate. Whoops. Trying to find where's oh, get stuffed move this out of the way again there we go and let's grab these two sections uh, uh, um, <laughs> interesting <laughs> I'm afraid to ask shift D Z and we'll put it up here and shift D Z there we go so there's our cupboards which are not connected G X we'll put that like so how's that looking that doesn't look too bad this bit here is a bit off so we'll fix this control L let's grab the second G Z probably about here ish this isn't sitting in the middle G Z push that up a bit <clears throat> there we go all right so we've got our cupboard and this is one of the scenes where he needs to open it up um, and starts oh that's irrelevant now that bit oh, i gotta rework that dang it i had to rewrite this part of the script because of the objects okay so that bit's changed let me just quickly um you packed pack, 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 pack. food just bear with me i'm tricking you Put in your face, organic. Here we go. Mm, okay, let me just quickly mark that. That needs to be fixed green. Okay, control S. Beautiful. Looks like a fridge. Is it a fridge? Actually, it, it is semi a fridge. It is. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, let's grab. that face I've stuffed up here a little bit scale nope 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 wrong scale Z nope okay let's go this way oh jeez okay let's go the other way beautiful beautiful there's gaps there now nice okay so that's much better touchpad on the door disappears then touchpad is slide and door reappears you're killing me. No. <laughs> Dang, that's a good idea. 
Dang it. <laughs> Shut up, Scotty. I might come back to that one. Let's more. Oh. Shift S, curse the world origin. Now let's make this back door quickly. Plane. Let's go rotate X 90. Rotate X 90 degrees. And let's kind of bring that up into the middle. Scale size X. There we go. G Y. And so now let's work on a door. The door will look like this, control B. That is about a meter and a half, which is fine. Let's do control B again. And then from here, I'm gonna put in an edge loop, bring that up to the top, G, Z, probably about here, control B, like so. Let's grab I'm going to go probably about here-ish and do, I don't know, for some reason I love doing these, control B, and then we'll grab these sections, slide X, just kind of something like that, and now what I can come in is select all these faces, there we go, come on buddy, come on, and I can now extrude that. And then this will be our door. So let's now delete all this. Delete faces. Um, I don't like that corner. So let's just fix this corner up in there. In there. Yep. Control B. There we go. Just so we put some corners on there. Control B. How's that looking? Nice. Um, and definitely I can put in that control. You want to win? Of course I want to win. You know what? No. No, I like... I do. I do want to win. But my goal is, is to actually just get in. I want to be able to sit up the front of the film festival and bask in the glory of the giant screen and not sit from afar. Pretty much. That's, that's the goal. The goal is to get in. Oops. Um, because like I was saying before, I've yet to actually get in to this, uh, film festival, local film festival. All right. Um, oh, geez. Let's go. Let's now create some doors. Let's go. What am I doing? Plane. Rotate Y, X, 90 degrees. Um... Should I do sliding? I might just do one big door. It's just easier. Mind you, we don't ever see him go through this door, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, let's go G Y. Bring that back. Let's put some edge loops. Let's put some more in there. I'm going to grab this whole section. Control B. Something like that. Let's go G Z. G, Z, and then I'm going to grab what faces, probably these faces in here, and just slightly, and then go individual origins, let's scale that in, mm, that's a bit too much, G, Y, so something just like that. Um, maybe what I'll do is put in a channel just down here. So something like that. Just trying to give it a little bit more texture. I think this needs to come up a lot more. Control numpad one. Let's go. Oops. One. See. See how he runs. Have you ever seen a rascal run? Er, er, er. Five points to somebody who knows where that's from. Do I like that? It's not too bad. I'm not a fan of it though. Um, okay, let's let's maybe work on the floor. So let me just hide this section. 
um, H and H. Probably let's start working on the walls. I'm going to put an edge loop that goes probably through there. Actually, no. Now, now, Shift D to duplicate. Let's jump in and put in that solidifier modifier. Tab into edit mode, Shift N to flip those normals around. Um, I want the offset to be zero. And then what we do is we will do the sci-fi panel method. Control B. Control B. And then what we come in is we just start deleting faces. And so now we kind of start getting uh, sci-fi panels coming in. Control B. Delete faces. Um, I need to make light fixtures. I didn't think about that. Control R. Let's put one there. GG. Move. GG, move it to the side, control B, nope, too big, control B, delete faces. And so now we're starting to make those panels. Uh, let's grab that section in there, control B, delete faces. Let's come into solidifier, let me just hide that solidifier modifier. And I'm going to grab all these faces down the bottom here. Okay. I'm going to press I to do an inset. Oops, press I to do an inset. Let's do another inset. And then I can come in, select these face. And then we turn the... Yeah, nice. And so now we've got, I've got this big floor panel. We've got this one, and I might just cut this one up a little bit more as well. Control B, delete faces. And there we have it. So now we've already given it extra geometry just without doing much. I think, I reckon we could probably do some more in here. Let's grab this section, Control B, delete faces. Um, I th will probably come in afterwards and put some greebles on there. Let's just put the bevel modifier on there as well, just to give it some extra love. Nice. What's going on here? There's some funky stuff happening. Hmm. I think it's because we've got that five points there. Um, what I might do is I might just cover that section up rather than worrying about trying to fix it. Oh, we've had 557 people come through so far. That's, yeah, I'm fairly chuffed with that. That's not too bad. Let's come into probably... Something like this, size Z zero, control B delete faces. Now if I do control L, what's that going to do? Oh crud. No, no. No one. Size Z zero, control B, delete faces. If I come in here now, control L. So we've got that whole selection in there. Okay. So let's grab I kind of wanted this bit here. What's going on? Okay, let's, I'm just going to grab this section in there. And I don't want those vertices there. Oops. Cool. Control B. Delete faces. Oh boy, I got angry. Shift N, nice. And then what I'll do is I'll come in here, hopefully I can go Control L. You're a jerk, what do you mean? Ooh. Oh wait, that's weird. Delete vertices. Just got some problem here. Face, face, Control L. Ah, oh, I hate you. So somewhere I've got something connected. Well, probably right there. Okay, so yeah, okay. All right, we got this. 
What on earth is happening here? What are you doing, you s jerk? There we go. Cool beans. And then I need to now select this and this because I've got to chop this bit here. Let's go W subdivide G Z. Um, what I'll do is I'll grab that and that W subdivide and bring that down as well. G Z. Let's now come in here delete this edge, delete edge. And then I can come here and here, face, face, size Z zero, size Z zero, lovely jubblies. And now hopefully that means I can come in here, control L. Where? Where are you still connected? Come on, you fat mole. What's that? Delete vertice. Control L. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Control B. Delete face. All right. Uh. Control L. Wait a minute. This is all disconnected. What do you mean? What did, I'm trying to work out why is it still connected when everything is disconnected? Ah. Did that break anything? All right, I'm just going to leave it before I rage on that. All right, so now if I were to unhide the mirror, how does that look? The floor looks quite nice. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'm fairly chuffed about that. Definitely, we need to put some stuff in here. I think that's where the drone cages will be. Whoa, there's been a big drop off of people. Oh, that sucks. Shift S cursor, shift, shift S cursor world origin. Let's go into cubes. And so what these will be is where the drones will sit until they are set up. Let's grab this. I to do an inset. E to extrude and we'll push that in all the way. Um, from here, I'm probably just gonna put an edge loop about here, size Z zero. And then let's put another edge loop in here, size Z zero. And then that way I can grab these three faces, G, X, and yeah, that's not bad. And then I'll have the drones kind of on top of each other. Um, this will definitely need some sort of panel next to it. Oh, do I just go three drones? I mean, there's nothing actually in these cupboards at the moment. Well, actually, the start of the film, there is, because this is where it's being um, activated. That's not too bad. I do like that. Um, I think we still need... To Obviously, I still got to put more stuff in the uh, in here itself. Definitely more pipes. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these two. Delete vertices. Um, Alt H. Control H. Shift H. There we go. Shift H. Um, hides everything except for this. Let's go object object to geometry okay let's think so the problem is, is I haven't I haven't made the robot yet but I know it's going to be a uh, sphere I might actually see if I can just find a robot um, and so maybe when it flies in it sits down on the thingy majiggy so let's create maybe a cylinder let's not create that cylinder 
delete vertices. Let's select this. Shift S cursor to selected. Mr. Aaron, welcome. Um, from here, let's grab this. I have no idea what that says, but dobro. Let's grab this face. We're going to delete this face. We're going to delete delete this face. I'm going to grab that G X. Let's extrude shift Z and bring. Oh no, I don't want to do that just yet. I lie. Let's grab probably all this delete faces. Let's select these two E size shift Z. Then let's go E size shift Z size Z G Z. So kind of that's its frame that these um, drones sit on. Yeah, cool beans. All right, let's just go shade smooth, and then we go into object mode, auto smooth. Beautiful. That's looking really nice. Um, from here, why don't we just delete this side, delete vertices because I got what I want. Let's come into the modifier, add mirror modifier. Beautiful. There we go. So now I only have to work with one side. And as we spoke about before, it's going to be like kind of like a basketball and the hand is going to be sitting at the bottom. It's going to have sensors at the front. Um, from here, we need to attach this. Okay, let's go into wireframe here. Cool beans. Let's extrude. And then I'm going to select probably about here, putting that 3D cursor. Let's go 90 degrees E to extrude and into the box. Oops, dang it. Okay, that should be fine. Let's just select all that GX and move it to about there. Lovely. Cool bananas. Um, from here, we need to add in some more stuff. Some just some random technologies. Oh, geez. All right, I'm starting to get tired. 20 to 12. Come on, 20 more minutes. Let's try and get this done. Um, What's, some, what's something cool? What's something cool that we can put in here? Definitely some cables and such. Um, or maybe... I was going to say maybe we can put in something that's kind of like a plug. Let's try that. Shift S, cursor to selected. And let's put in a cylinder. Scale that down, size Z. Let's bring that to the base, select that top face, I to do an inset, E to extrude, I to do an inset, E to extrude, I to do an inset, and then let's go, let's bring that down, shift D, scale that in, E to extrude, and then what we'll do is we're going to grab this, shift D, scale, G, Z, sorry. G, Z, scale, size size on the Z and this could be kind of like um, like a battery charger I'm just gonna hold control just to snap that shift D and so these are kind of like the brass things that where the drone sits oh no but the drone's got thing it's got an arm at the bottom okay that's no good that's fine we can work around it let's just grab everything shit the uh, rotate 190 GZ and we'll bring it all the way to the top. Maybe we'll just scale it on the Z axis to make it a little bit bigger. Let's go like so. Let's go shade smooth. What am I doing? Auto smooth. All right, cool beans. Um, definitely while well, it's charging. I do. Mm. Yeah, let's leave it at that then. It's kind of like sh sparks shooting down at it. Um, we will put some rings of lights in here as well. So what I can do is, for instance, let's 
put an edge loop in there, edge loop in there, edge loop in here, control B to do a bevel. But I just want these faces in here. And let's go like so. And just for the sake of it, let's add in new material. Let's go, wow. Oh, that's because of the characters in. Let's go new material, um, blue glow. Come over into here, something like that. Change it to emission. Let's go about here-ish. Let's go a strength of five. Make sure we hit assign. Let's go into render. So something like that. Definitely, probably some more lights up in here. Actually, maybe we'll just do it like this. So something like that. Add in that uh, blue glow assign, and then we can see. That's well, not too bad. Um, I have some sci-fi button, SFX, sound effects, uh, think zone of Enders or Metal Gear style. I would love to donate them to you. Jump onto my Discord if you want. Um, send me a message. <laughs> okay. What else? Definitely want some sort of... There's got to be more in here. Um, probably some tubing. Let's throw some tubing in. Tubing's always good. Okay, so let's go. Um, we've got that already there. Let's go mesh. Um, what am I doing? Bezier curve. Curve. Am I really that tired? I cannot see curve. There it is. Oh, <laughs> I'm starting to get tired. Okay, let's go. Rotate 45. There we go. Um, from here, I'm going to grab all this. Let's put in something like that. I don't want this bit to be symmetrical. Let's just go GZ. Nope. GZ. Bring that up there. Let's rotate that around to 90 degrees. Um, okay, or not. Oh, there we go. Rotate 45. And then we'll do something like that. E to extrude down the Z axis. And we'll put kind of like a box maybe down the side. Um, from here, let's maybe scale that in. E to extrude. I'm going to grab this one and probably plop it there. All right. So that's cool. Let's scale that one down. So that seems to be a little bit out of our box. Ah, oh, because our box is only there. So let's bring that around. And then what I can do is come into here. Let's go geometry. Um, extrude. Is that, is that the right one? I think so. Geometry, yes. 12. I need, there's a bit where to depth. There we go. All right, that's a bit too much. What on earth? Oh, that's why. All right, there we go. We've got our cable in there. G, Z. Okay, from there, there we go. Whoa. Okay, um, Aaron, we'll do after work. I'm in the US, so I've got to work in a few minutes. It is midnight. Star Trek Mini Transporter. Yeah, kinda. Um, let's put a box down here. So we've got that cable now. Tab. Let's put that in there like so. And we'll shove it in the corner. GX, something like that. Cool beans, so that's now gone in. Uh, probably from here, let's grab this E to extrude. So now I'm just going to kind of just throw a few greebles in. Um, let's go 
Was it? No, not an Arco Sphere. Shift it far out. Whew. Okay, rotate X 90 degrees, rotate Z 90 degrees. And then what this is going to be kind of like some pins just to fill up the space a little bit. Why? Actually, no, don't do that yet. So let's decorate these a little bit. I to do an inset. Something just like that. Control L G X. And we'll just start filling this up. Uh, maybe what we'll do as well is let's give this uh, kind of like a computer fan box. So something like that. I to do an inset. Probably in like so. I'm going to grab the four corners. Hmm, I'm starting to get peckish. And then we will kind of do something like that. Uh, can you put spare parts in the drone in the back? I can. I will, actually, that's a good idea. Uh, probably when I create the drone itself, which I'll probably concept draw tomorrow. Um, I might throw that in. That's a good idea. Okay, from here... We need the bevel modifier. Bevel. There we go. Look at that. Looks better. Change that to angle. Let's put a bevel modifier on this one. Angle. Not so aggressive. 0.5 offset. Fine. 0 0.002. There we go. Nice. Cool beans. This as well can have a bevel. Just gives that a little bit of extra love. Nice. All right, let's have a look. What does that look like? Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, let's put some lights down here as well. Um, I think what I would like to do is grab this section in here. Let's just go GX. I'm going to put in like so. Delete vertices I'm going to bring this side in Y let's put in some edge loops like so control B to put in a bevel uh-huh uh-huh or now let's delete every second one delete vertices ah oh, you stupid idiot let's put this in and then this in and then from here let's grab this G Y, so something like that. And now let's grab every second one, delete faces, box select all that. Come on, delete faces, select that, E to extrude, scale X, zero, delete faces, select all this, G, X, put that in the back so something like that I'd say G X control L delete vertice actually we'll get rid of this one as well delete vertice there we go so it's just kind of given some sort of like um, cooling fins or something definitely I think we need to put something on the bottom will the drone have a mind of its own yes it will be um the drone kind of stays on the planet to monitor things once um, the Ryan, the main character, is left. So he is, this is currently the third drone. Um, so it's the third and final drone before he goes home. Control L. Okay. Cool beans. You know what? That actually looks really nice. The the whole base looks nice. This tube looks nice. It can probably come down a little bit. Um, okay. Well, what we might do... I'm starting to get really tired. Let's finish up. Let's go Alt-H. Um, let's start applying... Actually, 
mirror modifier, apply. Bevel. Okay, let's select one, two, three, four. Control J. So now it's all one. Beautiful. Like a moment inside. Can the space be personalized to drone? A bit like Wally. I think I think what we might do is go down the fact of um, so the 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 drones get activated when they need to be. So it's not like three of them are around at the same time. It's kind of like he uses one, disconnects, and then he goes on to the other one. Um, what have we got? So it doesn't need to be personalized, but I do like the idea of um, oh, that's not too bad. Obviously the cable needs to be fixed. I might just do that manually. Shift D Z. Shift D Z G Z. Let's put that up into there. Now that now I've got to light the actual interior here. Um, because if I were to go into like something like this, yeah, so definitely some, that's one thing I'm going to do. Probably that'll be a tomorrow problem is we will build some lights in here. Oh my goodness. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Thank goodness. Um, definitely. Ooh, hang on. let's just, I just want to quickly put an edge loop through here. Control B delete face. Control B, delete face, and probably this one here. Control B. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Delete face. And then what I'll do is I'll come into this section in here. Let's get rid of. Oh, my gosh, can't see. Delete face. Delete face. What have I done? What have I done? No! Crud on a stick. Alright, that's that's I'll fix that tomorrow. Um I I will be using decal machine. Don't you worry, decal machine is right there. I will be smashing decal machine. Do you need any special material for the short film? I'd love to make one. Oh, I will probably just be using extreme PBR library combo um, just to get it out because I've only got 10 days. So I'm very limited on time to make this short film. So it's part of a local short film festival here in Canberra. Ah, oh, that's why. Let's go. Did that work? Ooh. All right, I gotta try and fix this bit. Oh, well, because I've got the bevel modifier, I don't need this bit or this bit. All right, sorry, I'm just trying to clean up my mess. Oh gosh, I can't see. Mm, hide. Okay. So I don't need this bit in here. get rid of these um so yeah i just be using pbr library because i just find it nice and easy uh i know most of the materials um but we shall see what happens delete vertices there we go let's grab that delete vertices and last one down here delete vertices and now technically if I turn solidify back on, it should look fine. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool beans. I'm happy with that. Oh, thank goodness. Um, okay, let's go zero and point oh oh one. Control A, maybe apply scale. There we go. Oh, that's looking better. Oops. 
0.003. Ah, shut up. Ah, why don't you use the... Uh, yes, I will be. Okay, sorry. I already answered that question. Um, dun -dun -dun -dun. Yeah, but that looks nice. So that's all coming together. And if we have a look at what the ship looks like. There we go. Uh, I definitely, I think we'll be throwing a few decals on here. What's, what do I have decals in here? I should have decals in here. What's, what's decal mixing? Q? No, that's that. D? There we go. Rotate, rotate Z 90 degrees. And can I do a mirror modifier on that puppy? Surely. And mirror, 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 mirror. There we go. Ah, oh, get stuffed. Come back. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But yeah, smash that. Throw some of them on there. Oh, I like this bottom section. Now I'm not sure about the galvanized steel. I do like it though. Um, why is this not emitting light? Materials. Where are my materials? Ah, 10. There we go, look at that. Nice bright lights. And this is the cockpit that we're working on at the moment in here. And this is obviously where I'll be doing all the animation. Let's just finish up. For those of you who have joined me recently, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. This is what I'll be using for facial motion capture. Um, this is available from Reillusion. And if for some odd reason you guys decide to get it, please let them know that you got it from me. Well, you didn't get it from me, but... You heard it from me. Uh, Motion Capture Live. Uh, live face. Preview. Spice. Yeah. Ow. Ooh, e. Ooh, ooh, ow. What a, what a bing bang. Ooh, ow. <laughs> hey, Keller. How you doing, mate? Um, so, yes, we're just going to be finishing up now. Um, and this is, yeah, this is the facial motion capture that I'll be using just to hopefully speed up the process. Um, hopefully tomorrow I get into some animating, if not at least Sunday, Sunday night, which is zero pose. There we go. That's, that's much better. I'm tired. Keeping awake. Meh. Meh. <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much, guys. Please make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Keeps up to date with the content. Um, I will be streaming for the next week, creating this animated short film so if you want to see me next week i'm your moderators that is creepy <laughs> so yes until next time thank you very much guys i will see you guys tomorrow night probably in about 20 hours 21 hours <laughs> all right see you later